Well, wasn't it cool and breezy day on the shore? Mike Seidel has more on that advertised warm-up on the way. Mike. That's right, Steve. The buzz on the street is spring is just around the corner. Certainly spring weather is. Got some more warm air headed back towards the shore. First, let's check the uh, tides and the winds for tomorrow. It's about time for this warm-up to begin, isn't it? A little chilly uh, today across the shore. Yeah, Breeze and uh, wind chill effective, but uh, we don't have to worry about that for much longer. All right. At least for the uh, foreseeable future. Temperatures today only in the low 40s, below average by about 5, 6, 7 degrees. And a fair amount of cloudiness at times, but now with the sun going down, we've cleared out. Take a look at the temperatures around the east. Uh, still really cold up across the lake areas. Marquette today had a high of only 19 degrees. Meanwhile, there is some warm air down through the Gulf Coast and back into the southern plains. Next couple days, a southwest wind will take over and get our temperatures well above average as we head in towards the uh, first few days of March. Storminess off New England heading off the coast. Providence did pick up another couple of inches of snow today. Still some snow showers flying out in western Pennsylvania, Bradford, Erie, and back through the lake areas. Our skies have cleared out. It will stay clear for the rest of tonight, although cold. Then tomorrow, the warm-up begins. Right now in Salisbury, it's uh, down to 33 at the airport. The wind is uh, calm, pressure on the way up, humidity at 50%. Dover, clear skies, 35 degrees. Southwest winds at 2. Pressure 30.11 and rising. And humidity at the airbase is a very comfortable 52%. Of course, we don't have to worry too much about the humidity this time of the year. Take a look out west. The big weather story is some good news for the uh, folks in California as a storm spinning up off the Pacific is now slamming on shore with some heavy rains and some mountain snows. They're looking for one to two inches of snow, uh, rain in and around the LA basin. They're down about 10 inches over the past eight months. It won't be a drought breaker, but certainly some uh, much uh, benefiting rains for the folks in Southern and Central California. For us, the benefiting uh, warm air coming in from the Gulf the next uh, three, four, five days, gonna get our temperatures well into the 60s to near 70 by Saturday and Sunday. A little wet down along the edges, the Gulf Coast tomorrow, the cold air and the snow relegated through the northern tier into southern New England and out west. They're going to get more rain tomorrow into tomorrow night before it starts to taper off on Friday. But for us overnight, our skies remaining clear and cold and the full moon out there. It'll be bright 26 to 29, some spots tomorrow morning in the mid-20s. Tomorrow, as you head out for work and school, a cold start, but by afternoon you'll be able to take off that heavy jacket or sweater. A lot of sunshine, much warmer, 54 to 57. Tomorrow night under fair skies and a southwesterly breeze. The warm direction lows only around 40. A great looking day Friday with highs in the mid to the upper 60s. It's going to stay warm into the weekend, but with the warm air, uh, some of that uh, storminess out in California will finally make its uh, presence uh, felt here on the shore, looking for some showers and thunderstorms on Sunday, and that rain should continue into the first of next week. But by uh, Friday afternoon, another spring fever alert. Looking good. Okay, <laughs> yeah. thanks, Mike. Let's check in with today's grain prices.